guys, today I'm going to be showing you four easy DIY last minute birthday gifts. Wow, that's a big title. Well, let's get started. The first DIY is going to be this DIY surprise balloon. The things that you're going to need is, of course, some balloons. I recommend some clear balloons. You're also going to need some confetti and how many ever money you want to give to that special person. So I actually made a little paper flannel to put in the confetti easier. And yeah, um, you're just going to put your confetti, how many ever you want. And then you're just going to add your little money. You're going to roll it up and add your money. Next, you're just going to blow up your balloon. And you kind of can see the confetti in there. Not really. But yeah, and then you're just going to gift it to the person. And the person is going to pop it. And it's going to look like this. And it's super cool. And they're going to find a bunch of confetti and money in there. The second DIY is this DIY gift bucket. What you're going to need, of course, is a cute bucket or little basket. You're going to need some tissue paper and all the goodies you want to give to that person, like whatever it goes with her personality. Right here, I'm using like EOS lip balms, hand sanitizer, nail polish, jewelry, whatever you want to gift. Um, so the first thing I'm doing here is not really a DIY self-explanatory. I'm just putting in some tissue paper and all the goodies inside and it's super cute and easy i'm putting in some lipsticks candles jewelry and yeah also if i sound weird it's because i'm sick at the moment but i still wanted to get this video up for you guys our third diy is this wish birthday card something like that i don't know what to name it but what you're gonna need is just some white paper or whatever color paper you want some cupcake holders a birthday candle and some markers or pens so what you're gonna do is just fold your card like a birthday card i don't know like a hamburger you're gonna cut your cupcake holder in half and then you're gonna cut an oval shape shape out of a circle and that's gonna be like your cupcake next you're gonna get your candle and tie a little ball around it and the last thing is you're just gonna get your marker and write wish using the candle as the eye and i think it's super cute the next thing i'm doing is just cutting these two kind of teardrop um shape and like putting them together to act as the fire so it could just give it a little bit of more cuteness to it and it definitely did it looks super cute and i love this diy and it's super special because you made it with your own hands okay our fourth and final diy is this unicorn piñata so what you're going to need is some tissue paper, you're also going to need a template of a kind of unicorn shape, you're also going to need some hot glue gun or whatever strong glue you want, and some cardboard. First thing I'm doing here is just tracing the template into the cardboard twice, and then you're just going to cut it. You're also going to need a thin strip of cardboard so, you could, so it could be easy to bend it. Um, so the next thing you're going to do is just get your strip of cardboard and start gluing it on one of the unicorn shapes and all around it and once you're done you're gonna just glue the other unicorn shape on top of it and that's gonna be your piñata the next thing you're gonna do is just grab your tissue paper and cut it in strips and yeah just cut it in strips i'm cutting like all of the colors i want i did blue pink and yellow so i'm just gluing it with some school glue and it like it works perfectly fine and just glue it all around actually didn't record the part of me doing the little horn and his eyes or anything but what i did to do the horn was i just grabbed an index card and rolled it up into a cone and then just um put gold tape around it also for the legs i just also used the gold tape and lastly for the eyes i just used two gold push pins and i think it came out super cute and also i want to name it so if you have any names for him or her comment down below so these were all of the DIYs. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, subscribe and comment down below. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.